we hear about extinction of smaller species all the time, but this is a big apex predator that's going to go. You may have heard that polar bears are at risk in a warming world, but did you know that some populations could disappear in just a few decades? It's really quite, you know, when you start looking at it, it's quite sad. That's the conclusion of a newly published study on the polar bears that live in and around Hudson's Bay. Researchers examined how different climate warming scenarios will affect not only sea ice coverage, but sea ice thickness as well. If the ice is there, but it's too thin, that's not really useful for the bears either. And what they found is alarming. Researchers estimate that polar bears become at risk of extinction when facing 180 to 200 days a year without adequate sea ice to hunt from. And what these researchers have found is that in southern Hudson's Bay, this will happen when temperatures average about 1.6 degrees above pre-industrial levels. And in West Hudson's Bay near Churchill, which benefits from an earlier freeze-up, this will happen at about 2.2 degrees. Lead author Julianne Strova says, despite the Paris Agreement pledge to limit warming to 1.5 degrees, we are on pace to greatly exceed both of these marks in the coming decades. If we look at our current projections of the warming, we expect to go through given all the commitments that nations have made for their net zero targets, the warming is around 2.7 to 3 degrees. Now exact timelines for extinction of the thousands of bears that inhabit these areas would vary of course depending on how quickly this warming occurs, but Struva says we could hit 1.5 degrees by the end of this decade. We also think that all the sea ice in the Arctic Ocean will probably be gone in the summer um, by the middle of this century. So to avoid the worst biological, cultural and economic impacts of a warming world, Struva says more aggressive emissions reduction action is needed across the planet. She hopes that showing glimpses of the future like the one illustrated by this study can help people and policymakers better understand the consequences of climate change.